Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Trevor Hughes, and I'm delighted to welcome you all to a special call we've pulled together today to make an important announcement for anyone who is a lawyer or works in a law-related field in this broad profession of privacy. Um, my name is Trevor Hughes. I'm the President and CEO of the IEPP, and I'm delighted to have you all here today. I am joined today by Chris Wolf, uh, partner and head of the privacy practice at the law firm of Hogan Lovells. And Chris and I are going to share uh, some exciting news about the launch of the privacy bar section of the IAPP. Let me tell you a little bit about the privacy bar section and what we're hoping to do. First of all, today's call is uh, just Chris and I sharing with you this announcement, um, and so there is uh, not an open chat or question process. We do have an email address for you if you have questions or comments after the fact, and we'll share a lot of news about what's happening so that you'll get a sense of how to engage going forward. Um, one of the things that is clearly the case is that the field of privacy is exploding. Um, around the world today, the IAPP has 25,000 members in 80 countries. Uh, across our membership, we know from surveying our members that uh, over 40% of our members are lawyers. Um, a bigger number uh, than that 40% actually come from law-related professions more broadly. And those lawyers um, need services. They need to meet, to engage, to learn about privacy as a uh, legal topic. And uh, after some uh, leadership and prompting from Chris Wolf and the Future of Privacy Forum, uh, which uh, Chris serves as the president of the, of the board, um, we came together with a, um, a set of, of tools and services that we are happy to be launching today. Um, I'm happy to announce that Chris will be serving as the founding board chair, advisory board chair of the Privacy Bar section of uh, the IAPP. And with that, I'd like to hand things off to Chris to talk a little bit about why this is important and why the moment is important for us to be launching this new initiative. Chris. Trevor, Trevor, thank you uh, very much. And this truly is an exciting announcement, I think. And uh, I thank the IPP for embracing the idea and really running with it. You know, 36 years ago when I became a lawyer, uh, privacy law meant uh, basically the law of the Fourth Amendment, uh, the underused uh, processor, privacy torts, uh, the Privacy Act of 1974, and, and not much else. And you fast forward to today, and there are hundreds of privacy and data security laws. We have the common law of FTC uh, consent decrees. We have thousands of lawyers across America who are practicing privacy law as a distinct area of practice, as well as privacy academics who are teaching privacy law in our law schools and the academy. Uh, with the uh, advent of the internet as a principal means of communication and commerce, with electronic health records, with online banking, with educational privacy, with the Internet of Things, with big data, and I could go on. Uh, privacy law has become a specialty with burgeoning subspecialties. Uh, businesses today are embracing privacy by design, and as they do that, uh, they know that privacy law compliance is an integral part of their planning and of doing business, and they realize that privacy lawyers are indispensable and that turning to generalist lawyers for privacy law just doesn't cut it anymore. So uh, at the same time, individuals are realizing that privacy law provides many remedies and tools to vindicate their rights. And governments know that privacy laws give citizens rights and that privacy lawyers are needed uh, in government organizations to guarantee those rights. So in, in short, or in sum, privacy law is vitally important to society and its importance is growing. And so privacy law is a separate discipline is here to stay. Uh, w just as when antitrust law and communications law emerged as separate disciplines and developed their own separate professional forums, uh, the time has come, as IPD is recognizing, for privacy lawyers to have their own separate professional forum. And I'm delighted that IPP, with the support and cooperation of the future of privacy forum, is creating such a professional forum. Uh, Privacy lawyers, including practitioners and law professors and judges, 
uh, now will have their own place to examine and discuss legal issues and legal developments. When the Supreme Court issues a decision on privacy law, uh, when a court of appeals issues a decision on the scope and jurisdiction of federal enforcement, when Congress considers amendments to update existing privacy laws or co contemplates new uh, privacy law remedies, uh, this new IAPP professional forum for, for privacy lawyers will be the place where the details of those developments are discussed in depth. It'll be a place for providing opportunities for legal scholarship. It'll be a place where privacy lawyers can consider professional issues unique to our discipline. And I think the potential for this new division is just terrific. You look at the Federal Communications Bar Association as an example of a robust organization dedicated to specific to a specific legal discipline. And I think this new IAPP Lawyers Division has the similar, similar potential to be a wonderful professional home for those of us who are lucky enough uh, to practice privacy law. So I encourage my uh, fellow privacy lawyers and uh, privacy law professors and those in the, the judiciary uh, to engage in this terrific uh, new initiative. You know, just as the IPP has provided amazing opportunities for professional growth for privacy professionals generally, lawyers and non-lawyers alike, I think this new focused division promises great opportunities. Uh, and it can only truly succeed with critical mass. So I encourage everyone uh, on this call uh, to engage. And with that, I will turn it back to Trevor to explain how that will work. Excellent. Well, thank you, Chris. And um, what, a great, what a great introduction to uh, why this moment is so important for the creation of the privacy bar section at the IAPP. And Chris, on behalf of um, our profession, on, pre on behalf of this new section within the IAPP, we want to express our gratitude for your leadership. Let me talk to you a little bit about next steps for the privacy bar section of the IAPP. Um, we are going to be launching an event at um, the IAPP Global Privacy Summit. There will be a privacy bar section uh, workshop. Uh, we're not quite sure of the name yet, uh, an event um, immediately following the Global Privacy Summit on Thursday, April 7th. It will be in DC. Our plan is for an event that runs in the morning through lunch uh, to allow people to, to get back home on Thursday afternoon after the summit. So stay tuned for that announcement, watch for that program and that event, um, which will be the inaugural event for the Privacy Bar section. Um, uh, we expect that program, as Chris mentioned, to be heavily focused on the needs of lawyers practicing in the field of privacy. And it will be an opportunity for us to dive deeper, to explore uh, more thoroughly uh, many of the issues that privacy lawyers are, uh, are encountering today. We are also launching an advisory board. Um, this is an advisory board that will advise the IEPP on the needs of the privacy bar section, um, will help us to program content um, in the months and years ahead, and will also help to oversee the development of the section with many future uh, services and, and deliverables to the, um, to the privacy bar. Um, so I am today, we are today announcing that um, we are seeking nominations for that advisory board. Um, the IAPP has many advisory boards that help us with many of the functions within the IAPP. This advisory board will serve in a similar um, uh, posture. As I mentioned previously, um, Chris, as really the, the, the person who led this effort and brought it to the IAPP, will be the inaugural chair of this advisory board. But we are seeking 10 to 12 additional leaders to help us um, guide the privacy bar section. Um, you should see on the screen in front of you a link to the uh, nomination process. And just one note about that link. While that page is up right now, uh, we don't have the field capture mechanism totally locked down. So if you are interested in nominating, I'd ask you to defer till the end of the day today or first thing tomorrow morning to nominate yourself. But um, that link is the place that you can uh, nominate. Understand that we will likely get 
more interest than we probably have capacity to um, support right now. We think that it's important for us to start small and grow. Uh, we will select people to serve on this advisory board. IEPP staff will select people to serve on this advisory board. Um, based on a diversity of representation, we certainly want to have outside counsel, in-house counsel, privacy academics. Uh, we want to have a broad range of practitioners in the field of privacy law represented on this advisory board. Um, in the future, though, we expect that many leadership opportunities will emerge for many, many people in the privacy bar section. So um, uh, bear with us as we let this, um, this idea grow um, from, um, from this, this rather humble beginning. Um, we expect lots of great things to happen, but uh, we want them to build on success after success. And it will take us some time to get all of those things up to speed. I do have some other exciting news to share. And um, um, I want uh, everyone to understand that this is not completely locked down yet. However, last week, the IAPP submitted an application to the American Bar Association for recognition of our credentials for the purpose of recognizing specialization in the field of privacy law. This is important for lawyers across the country because ABA recognition um, carries re reciprocity with a number of states around the country. And for purposes of distinguishing or, or demonstrating that you have a specialty in a particular field, you can think of patent law or family law or other areas of specialty in the, in, in the privacy world, um, the ABA recognizes um, uh, well-established and credible uh, certification programs for the purposes of demonstrating that specialty in the marketplace. Um, we submitted our application last week. Um, as all of you should know, uh, last year the IEPP was successful in um, receiving ISO accreditation through ANSI for many of our certification programs, and that is uh, significantly influential in this ABA process. And we are hoping that at some point this year we will be able to share the great news with all of you that IEPP certifications um, are a path to demonstrating to the marketplace, recognized by the ABA and therefore recognized by many of the licensing states that um, uh, you are licensed in, um, that it is a mechanism to demonstrate to the marketplace that you are specialized in the field of privacy law. We'll have more news on that as, um, as developments occur, as we hear back from the ABA. I can also share with you that South Carolina independently recognized our CIPP designation for exactly this purpose, that um, lawyers in South Carolina who carry the CIPP designation have the ability to reference that designation as an indicator of their specialization in the field of information privacy. All of this is to suggest that Chris's uh, leadership and, and really provocation to the IEPP that we move forward with this idea um, was very, very timely. The American Bar Association was very receptive to our application because the moment is right to recognize that those 40% of our members, those many thousands of privacy lawyers across the United States are doing something unique, doing something different, and doing something incredibly important to the, today's digital economy. And so we're very, very um, happy about today's announcement, and we certainly look forward to great things in the future. I do want to talk about the future just a little bit. Um, in the future, we expect that the privacy bar section will do many of the things that you would expect a section of the IEPP focused on the privacy bar would do. You can expect unique content. You can expect unique events. Uh, web conferences and other things. Again, we ask that you bear with us as we allow this to grow organically, if you will. We want this to grow slowly based on uh, success after success. Um, but we are investing resources in supporting this new uh, section and, and developing it. We will have lots more announcements um, in the uh, days and weeks ahead. Certainly stay tuned for and watch for the announcement of uh, the event running immediately after, the Global Privacy Summit. Um, and I think for many of you, how great would it be to be able to say that you were there for the very first event that created the Privacy Bar section within the IEPP? 
Um, that is a foundational moment for the privacy bar. And I think many decades from now, we'll look back at that moment and say that's when it really started. Uh, so I hope that you'll be there with us. Um, but watch also for other announcements from the Privacy Bar section. Um, we certainly have many great plans, and we know that many of you will have great ideas that will help us guide um, this idea in the future. So there it is, a big announcement from the IAPP today, an important new um, section within the IAPP, the Privacy Bar section of the IAPP. Um, and uh, uh, kicked off by and, and really helped uh, to this moment by the great leadership of Chris Wolf. So Chris, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, Trevor, it's my great pleasure, and I just want to mention uh, the, the support of Jules Palometsky and the Future of Privacy for sure. bringing, bringing this idea forward as well, and I know they're going to stay involved as well. Absolutely, they are. All right, everyone, that is uh, what we had today. Um, please, uh, you'll see on the screen right now, um, you should see a link to the uh, nomination process for the advisory board. Again, we ask that you hang off just a little bit and let us get those fields populated in the right way so that they feed into our systems. Um, so if you want to nominate, uh, maybe think about uh, doing that first thing tomorrow morning. Um, uh, write a note to yourself so that you uh, jump back onto the system and do that. If you have any questions or comments, um, uh, Terra Meter here at the IEPP is the right place to channel those through. They will get uh, um, addressed appropriately um, uh, uh, here in the organization, but we're happy to take any questions and comments you have through that email address. And with that, I will express again my gratitude to Chris and Jules and the Future of Privacy Forum. I want to express my gratitude to all of you for joining the call today. And I really do hope that we see you um, on April 7th, Thursday, April 7th, in Washington, D.C., for the inaugural kickoff event for the Privacy Bar section. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.